Today, President Trump continued his streak by firing the head of the Secret Service. Yeah. Plus, get this, to add actual insult to injury, it also came out that Trump has secretly been calling this guy Dumbo because of his giant ears. <laughs> yeah. Which you gotta admit is super gangster, right? <laughs> I mean, for two reasons. One, this is the person protecting your life. And secondly, <laughs> normally the Secret Service has code names for the president, but this is a president who has code names for his Secret Service. <laughs> He's standing there like, Oakley is talking to Dumbo, and now here comes broken condom. <laughs> I like how that was a wave. That was nice. That was a wave. Yeah. You guys got it first, and then you took it all the way to the back. I like that. <laughs> but that wasn't even the most prominent firing of the past 24 hours, because the news rocking the headlines has been this. Overnight, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen forced out of the administration. Tensions between Nielsen and President Trump have been simmering for months, but reached a boiling point after the president's furious response to the recent surge in migrant crossings at the southern border. Just hours after a face-to-face -face meeting with the president on Sunday, Nielsen submitted her resignation. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> Kirsten Nielsen, the woman responsible for Trump's border enforcement, has been deported out of the White House. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what makes it worse? Not just that she lost her job, it's that Nielsen is leaving this White House with her reputation in tatters. Remember, she was the face of the Trump administration's family separation policy, where kids were split from their parents and kept in cages. So basically, the only job she can get now is working for R. Kelly. But the crazy thing... <laughs> The crazy thing, I don't even know who you're booing, R. Kelly or her. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But the crazy thing is that even though people on the left consider her cruel and inhumane, President Trump thought she was too soft. A person close to Nielsen says she's been on thin ice with the administration, often clashing with President Trump, who has accused her of not doing enough to stem the tide of undocumented immigrants. She was always in a tough position, seen as too tough on immigration on Capitol Hill, not tough enough here at the White House. Not tough enough? Yo, this White House is weird, man. How are you gonna get rid of the kids in cages woman for being too nice? <laughs> That's like firing a cat for not displaying its anus enough. <laughs> it's just like, I'm sorry, cat, we just needed more butt. We needed much more butt than that. <laughs> and here's the thing, it, it, was, it was no secret to Secretary Nielsen that Trump wanted her to be tougher on migrants, right? He made that very clear to her and everyone else within shouting distance. For months, President Trump has been openly berating Secretary Nielsen at cabinet meetings, pushing her to take more and more drastic measures to stop the flow of migrants at the southern border. According to the New York Times, the president called Ms. Nielsen at home early in the mornings to demand that she take action to stop migrants from entering the country, including doing things that were clearly illegal, such as blocking all migrants from seeking asylum. Wow. Trump would call her early in the morning just to yell about the border? You know how horrible that must have been? Think about it. We're all traumatized by Trump's tweets at 5 a.m. <laughs> now imagine if the tweets came into your bedroom every morning or like, hey, caravans of rapists, weak Democrats, love crime, and by the way, Kofi Fi. <laughs> but that's right. Trump wanted Nielsen to block all migrants from claiming asylum, which, by the way, is against U.S. law. And even though people have said the United States needs to provide refuge to people who are fleeing poverty and crime, Trump has made it clear that he doesn't believe their stories at all. The asylum program is a scam. Some of the roughest people you've ever seen, people that look like they should be fighting for the UFC. Give him asylum, he's afraid. He's afraid. We don't love the fact that he's got tattoos on his face. That's not a good sign. Okay, look, I'll, I'll be honest. I get where Trump is coming from. If I see someone with tattoos on their face, I get uncomfortable because I know they're gonna try and sell me their mixtape, you know? <laughs> yeah, they'll say it's free, but then they look at me funny when I start walking away. And then I'm like, should I have taken this? I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> Anyway, look, the point is, Trump is clearly ignoring all the women and children who are claiming asylum. He's obsessed with the pictures of the guys who look to him like UFC fighters. 
which also might explain why he wants everyone in cages. He thinks it's their natural habitat. <laughs> and this shouldn't be surprising to us, because here's the thing about Donald Trump that you have to understand. To him, it's all about how people look. If you look like a big, tough guy, you can't be an asylum seeker in his mind. He wants people who look how he expects them to look, which is why he gets so excited when he meets someone in the real world who looks like a character from the movies. These are central casting. If I'm doing a movie, I pick you, General Mattis. NRCC chair, Tom Emmer. This guy's like central casting. You couldn't pick a better guy in Hollywood. There's no actor. You talk central casting, these guys, you couldn't, I mean, it's incredible. They had a master sergeant there. I could take him right now, bring him to Hollywood, make a military movie, and he's the star of the movie. That happened once before, you know. Central casting, you can't cast yeah, them. What do you have? There. You don't have anybody in Hollywood that looks like these guys. <laughs> he's got 10 people standing behind him. Everyone is central casting. Central casting. <laughs> Glasses, pad. Boom. I was the perfect person. I was, like, central casting. <laughs> really? You were central casting? As president? I mean, I get, as president uh, in a Sharknado movie, maybe, yes. I mean, <laughs> we've got to stop these sharks, folks. I get that. But you see, it's really simple. And if anything, this is a great lesson for the migrants. Because it's not your story or your life that President Trump cares about. It's just how you look. Here's my advice. When you show up to the border, you just need to look like the people Trump wants to see in America. So, guys, grab an oversized suit, get a long red tie, and while you're at it, throw a tumbleweed up there as a wig. Yeah. <laughs> Once Trump sees a million hymns trying to get into America, forget a wall, he's gonna build a ramp straight into the U.S. It's me! Let me in!